I use Google Photos and Samsung Gallery on different occasions. And in this video, we'll compare the editing features of both. So, let's begin. AI is the first thing that comes to mind when comparing the two. Samsung Gallery adopted AI quicker than others. Both apps support removing objects. Either tap the object or mark a selection. In terms of making selections, Samsung is much better than Google Photos. The app also lets us move that object to somewhere else in the image, something Google Photos doesn't support. However, the Google Photos app creates multiple variants of the photo so that you can pick the best. On the same topic, Samsung Gallery has something that Google Photos doesn't. The sketch to image is still in development, but if you want to add something to the photo, you can draw it. It needs to understand your drawing to make it, but if it does understand, you can create more variants until you find the perfect one. Overall, I think Samsung Gallery takes the win in AI editing. The next editing feature is Auto Editing. I would pick Google Photos here because the second you tap the edit button, it shows some suggestions. The suggestions automatically apply the edits to the photo without you going in every single one of them. If parts of your photo are blurry, you can unblur them. If you go into tools, you will see them changed. That's because Google Photos changes those values to give you this result. Another feature that most people don't know about is automatically adjusting only the points you want. To set the brightness to auto, open it and then tap on it once more. It will set it automatically. You can try it with others and see how they appear. Moving to Samsung Gallery, it's not as advanced as Google Photos, but it's not bad either. In Tone, you will find this Auto button that will automatically apply the adjustment. You can then go into each and adjust them further if you like. Overall, Google Photos takes the win in Auto Tone adjustment. Next are Filters. Both have a handful of filters. In this round, I side with Samsung Gallery. Why? because first it shows the strength of each tone applied to it. We can tap on it to adjust that category. If I like this filter but also want to add contrast to it, it's possible. It adds more functionality for those picky editors that want to go the extra mile. The second reason is the support for third-party filters. This download will show those filters and once one is downloaded, it can be applied from the same menu. Google Photos only has the filter strength. I like its filters and it can help those who want to change the photo's colors without adding too much effort. The last major round is markup and text. Now I can't declare Google Photos the winner here because Samsung has been making notes and stylus devices for a long time and they have been adding good features. Google Photos has the pen and highlighter but no setting to adjust the thickness and opacity. In Samsung Gallery, if you click the selected pen again, you'll see lots of options. We have some pen types, thickness, opacity and the color. We have more colors than Google Photos. In highlighters, we have the same options. Then are your patron pens followed by the eraser to erase your drawn stuff. The app also has some stickers to give your photo the last minute style. Furthermore, the text tool has more options including fonts, font styles, alignment, stroke and background. This lets you set your message tone to properly convince the viewers. Both have a few extra features, but Samsung Gallery is more prominent as it can select and move objects, spot colors and mix the colors with different photos. Both have crop, rotate and flip options. Google Photos has a button to turn the picture to PDF and we can edit the photo in OneDrive as well. I don't know the point of that but it's here if anyone needs it. Anyway, this is the end of this video. Let me know which is your favorite below. I'll catch you later. Take care.